Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Minyard. It is modded in 135 scale and it copies German car 170V. But as you can see this time it's a version Cabrio Saloon, so with open uh, top section. And it might be interesting for a nice diorama because it's modded in 135 scale. So basically you can combine it uh, together with some other figures or maybe with some other item, vehicle, whatever you would like to. But still it will be handy. Maybe some others would even destroy it and use it as a... Uh, something different. Maybe. I mean, we all know that we have endless imagination. Nevertheless, here we have a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you see in this video. And we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside. First of all, and I see it, um, the most interesting thing is that two figures and decal sheet and P parts are included. So basically what we see on the box art will be inside this box. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's not that big box. I would say it's typical for mini art, so nothing special in a good sense. Then on this side you can see um, six marking options which are included inside. Um, of course you are not limited by this, you can replicate something different if you would like to because this is a typical German car. So if you have some reference photos you are free to copy it on your model. And here on another side we have some information about this kit, nothing I would say unusual. So let's open it and check what is inside. In the meantime let me remind you that uh, we have a donate button on our website and you can support us by pressing this button and sending via PayPal some money in order to get new photo and video equipment which will help us improve the quality of photo and video reviews and I mean you helped us before we really appreciate it uh, we gradually improve our video reviews our photo reviews so with your help we will be even better so here you can see what we have inside we have assembly manual on the top of course we will check it a bit later here we have all spruce packed inside and we have even some special box so it will be interesting to see what is there so let's move on to this plastic bag it is sealed as usual for uh, mini art so I'm going to cut through with scissors and we will check everything closer as some of you might have guessed this plastic is well known for some others because I mean it is based on 170V saloon kit in 135 scale but mini art varies uh, versions, the body car versions, so that's why this time we get the cabrio version. Okay, maybe I am a bit too quick with folding the scissors because I see another plastic bag here. So we will check it a bit later. Just give me a second. Okay, so first of all I would like to start with this box. As you can see it features Mini Art logo. It's the first time I see such inclusion into this into Mini Art kit. And this is used in order to store the car body. As you can see it's a thin frame which is molded as a one piece part. So that's why manufacturer decided to well, pack it into the special box so it won't be broken or damaged. That's really cool. I appreciate such attention to small details and definitely it will help to save the part from any extra damage and get the part in the proper condition. That's um, I would say the plus for this kit and that's a really great idea to have it inside the box because some modellers or some manufacturers, not modellers, uh, put the such thin parts, such tender parts without any additional um, protection and then we end up with broken parts. So here we have next set of plastic First of all I would like to deal with this plastic bag because I hate sealed plastic bags. That's why we are going to open it and we don't have sealed plastic bag anymore. Anyway, it's a bit dirty, my cutting mat. So here I have something broken off, it's just a plastic bit, I think that's not a part. So uh, here we have clear ports on the sprue and we also have the decal sheet. So just give me a second, I will zoom in. And we will take a closer look. First of all I would like to show the decals sheet. Here it is. Quite nice printing quality and definitely all those number plates will be handy. And as you remember there are six marking options but again I repeat that you are not limited by them. Okay. Next we have the clear sprue. So here it is. Um, typical set of parts I would say. So we have all possible glasses for the vehicle 
but masks are not included there are no even like templates which can be printed in the manual and then you just place the tape over them and cut the precise masks for these parts there is nothing so you have to do it with your own hands and it might be a bit tedious but I mean there is no other way around it maybe there will be some aftermarket masks I'm not sure so if you're uh, if you know about some write it in the comment section here we have another nice addition as you remember this kit includes envelope or actually P parts and that's the envelope to house the P parts to protect them from accidental bending so just give me a second I'll try to remove them so here we are that's not that huge P thread but let's not forget about the size of this vehicle maybe camera will focus on it yeah now you should be able to see it so here we have parts not only for external detailing but also for internal as well so that's really cool it will be noticeable and you get it out of the box so definitely use this bonus in order to get the maximum of out of your model so next we have this thin grey plastic sprue, that's actually the first grey plastic sprue um, it is dedicated to the spare wheel parts, as you can see we do not have vinyl tires here, we have plastic parts which should be combined together that's several um, discs so let's say which should be combined together with help of those guiding pins and that's definitely better than having a vinyl tires and it will be easier to paint, it will be easier to weather so that's good okay next we have give me a second we have two identical plastic frames those are slightly bigger but these wheel frames are identical to what we saw before and here we have another one with interior parts so I would, I would rather focus on this uh, interior parts through just give me a second I'll zoom in and we'll check closer so here we have front seat also some of the interior parts everything is molded nicely we have thin attachment points so I do not think that you have some possible issues with these parts everything is cool just be sure to use the plastic so I'm always saying with this with mini art kits maybe with all the kits because I mean I'm not that good I will say openly with plastic cutters and plastic saw is more I would say safe way of cutting off the parts without possibility to damage them unless you just saw on the part. Here we have the biggest sprue in this set so as you can see here we have the bottom plate for the vehicle which was molded together with wheel arches here we have the dashboard, bonnet panels and note that bonnet panels are molded separately so maybe you will be able to open them if you would like to here we have the rear seat also the main frame, some front and rear bumpers, radiator grill and some of the suspension and drivetrain parts, steering wheel is also here that's really great molding quality, we can zoom in and you take a closer look with me so here we have the main frame which is molded as a one piece next we continue with some of the exterior parts, steering wheel, also the rear seat then here we have the main plate which is molded together with wheel arches dashboard, exhaust tube next here we have some of the suspension parts bonnet parts and that's pretty much all, let's flip it over, I am interested to see, yeah, here we have the push rod marks on those bonnet parts, so if you plan to open the bonnet you will have to send them off of course and maybe fill them in but it's cool that here on the bottom plate we don't have anything so that's, I mean, that's really nice let's zoom out a bit okay so that was the biggest plastic sprue in this kit and now we go on with smaller sprues which are actually dedicated to figure parts so here we have two of them because there are two figures included of course poses are predefined as far as you can see but from the second thought I'm not sure about this thing so we will have to check the assembly manual nevertheless molding quality looks quite fine you can notice a tiny amount of flesh around these parts but that's not I would say uh, really serious because it will be easy to clean them off and of course sharp knife will solve the situation otherwise we do not have any guiding elements inside so be careful while working with these parts okay next we have another plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to various external accessories 
I think these are boxes and luggage. So again, quite nice molding quality. Here inside you can see that we have some guiding elements which should help you with assembling this stuff together. Next we have another plastic sprue. This one provides us with parts for the soft top. So basically you can replicate the um, folded roof and also the closed roof. So if you would like to have vehicle with retracted roof, you can use this part. And again, with folded roof, you can use this part. That's really cool that we have those options out of the box because some manufacturers just focus on one version and then say that you should get the different boxing in order to get the open roof. Here we have different situation and that's really great because you have the choice out of the box. Molding quality looks really nice. Here you can see that we have some basic detailing inside as well and there are no push road marks, so that's cool. Okay, next we have the last gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to mix of parts. So as you can see here, we have door panels or door cards, we have doors themselves. Also here we have the suspension parts, also drivetrain, engine, and some minor elements which you should be careful not to lose it because otherwise it will be a fun to search for them. But the thing I would like to underline is that engine is included here so you can assemble it out of the box, you can add some detailing if you would like to and then you will have a nice result in 135 scale. Not every car kit in 135 scale has engine um, out of the box so keep this small thing in your mind let's say next we have assembly manual this one is printed in form of large color printed brochure so there is no surprise it's a typical format for mini art on the first page we have all features um, listed in form of this nice small description next here we have three marking options I would say they're uh, the same as what you saw on the side of the box. So we have them from Baden, from middle Franconia and from Silesia. All the vehicles come from 1938-1945. So I would recommend to search for some reference photos in order to get even more impressive result because usually with reference photos you can get something um, to add more of the interest to the vehicle. Here we have parts map. Assembly process starts with engine and know that straight away we will have to use PE parts here so be ready for this and you will have to do some bending here. Next we continue with main frame and suspension installation of the engine on this frame. Here we have exhaust system assembly. Next we continue with installation of the bottom plate on this chassis. Then we continue with rear section here, fuel tank. Then we continue with interior assembly. And what else? Here we assemble the dashboard. Here we work on the car body. So as you remember, there will be a um, combination of several panels. Here you can see how wheel is assembled. So you will have to combine one, two, three, four, five, six parts together in order to get a wheel ready to be painted. Here you can see assembly of the um, radiator grill. Again, you will have to use PE parts. Then all this stuff gets combined together, so you have the choice between open or closed roof, as I said before. Next we continue with um, assembly of the bonnet, and again here I can see that we have the open or closed cover on the bonnet, so that's really great that manufacturer mentions it in the assembly manual. And here we install the spare wheel, we install doors, we install the luggage on the rear section. Here you can see the marking guide and assembly manual combined together for figures, cars chart and on the last page we have three more marking options for this vehicle. So overall we have quite nice uh, car vehicle kit in 135 scale from Miniart and that's really cool that they, they include figures and PE parts out of the box. Of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such kit here in the comment section below, write it there and I will be happy to answer to you. Um, if you like this video and you want to support us, press the like button, don't forget about it because it helps us greatly and you can also press the subscribe button so that you won't miss any new video review and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.